माय डियर नेटसेट एस्पिरेंट्स नमस्कार माय डियर ब्रदर्स एंड सिस्टर्स माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई एम यूर धनया सर फ्रॉम अक्कलकोट आई हर्टली वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस सेशन आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अबाउट नेट एंड सेट एग्जाम पेपर नंबर वन फ्रेंड्स सक्सेस कम्स टू दोज पीपल हु आर वर्किंग अकॉर्डिंग टू देअर गोल सक्सेस इज नॉट द कप ऑफ एवरीबडी नो कॉमन पीपल एंड एक्स्ट्रॉर्डिनरी पीपल देर इज अ डिफरेंस दोज हु आर वर्किंग ऑन पर्टिक्युलर टारगेट दोज हु आर वर्किंग ऑन पर्टिक्युलर एम्बिशन दोज हु आर working on particular track they will get the success so i know that you are preparing for net exam i know you are preparing for karnataka set exam i know you are preparing for maharashtra set exam friends any exam already you deserved already you 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 are you, you fixed for writing this set, set exam so friends always remember one word always remember this word better let better let than never better let than never i know that maharashtra set exam is going to held in the next month we have only 40 days in our hand on 26th march maharashtra set as an exam is going to held we have only 40 days already it is completely late but friends don't think negative way in your mind sir already the days has gone we have no time what can i do we have very less days we have very few days in our hand is it possible for us to complete the uh, syllabus is it possible for us to complete our work no friends remember this word better late than never never means some people are not doing the work some people some students are not working at all they are living they are giving up they they are they are they are not doing the work they think that already it is late why shall we do already it is late why shall we complete it already it is completely late will we get the success better late whether okay work it maybe it is going to late but work but work but study friends i know that i also started videos in a very late way but i thought that better late than never okay anyhow so in paper number 1 unit number 1 methods of teaching at higher institution in higher institutions i know that after passing net exam after passing set exam you are going to become an assistant professor okay we are teaching our students while teaching our students while explaining our students while analyzing our students when interpreting our students at that time we must use different types of teaching methodology don't use the same method in all the time no already there are two types of teaching methods one is student centered teaching method another one is teacher centered teaching method now i am focusing on student centered teaching method student centered teaching method already we completed heuristic method discussion method project method and uh, activity uh, what i can say discussion method role play method now i am going to focus on abl method what is abl method see that i know that all the questions in net exam and set exam are all very easy never think that questions are difficult we are unable to solve no questions are very easy see what is abl method abl method means activity based learning method remember the name of this method activity a means activity b means based l means learning method we can say it we have another three names for abl method activity based learning method it is also known as play way method play way method 
we can call this method hands on experience hands on method hands on method means hands on experience students are telling students are putting their hands on students are saying sir i do i do i do if you ask one question to the small children children are ready to tell the answer the same way you have to use this method in high school level you can use this method in degree level also but maximum time this method play way method is used in lower classes but i want to give the definition of this method students are learning the concept students are understanding the lesson students are understanding the subject matter by doing activity activity means what different kinds of work students are doing here in this this method is completely based on student it is student centered teaching method students are very busy in in doing activity students are listening students are speaking student is writing student is watching students is dancing students is doing practical work students is doing dramatization student is doing experiment student is participating in debate way student student is explaining the concept in his own way student is using his own experience student is telling his idea student is doing the activity look i want to tell one small example this is one book it is is it it is one book please see this uh, this picture okay in this picture these are the students students wants to know the words and all students are playing these students are playing the game through game these students are learning the subject it is also known as play and learn method please remember uh, play and learn method students are playing and students are learning one student is doing this activity another student is all students are collaboratively they are doing this work all students are mixingly they are doing this student see okay these are the words they are putting here they are enjoying in this way suppose if you are teaching the students at higher level at the time for example you are teaching about population the geography subject you you call all the students tell that okay we are now doing the census work we are doing counting the population suppose you are living in your home all the students should go and count their own family names how many people are living in your home what they are doing what is their profession what is your income what duty you are doing means your family members are doing how many children are there how many old people are there how many middle age people are there how many women how many men gender their height their color their language their uh, working their uh, what i can say using uh, using materials whether they are using tv internet connection or car they are using gases just tell all the students and they will they will they will do and at the same times you tell your your student that you can visit your gully in your gully those who are very close to you visit their home and ask them only intimate only close relation or close friends home you go and you ask <laughs> don't go to other, other person those those who are unknown for you unknown people you <laughs> unknown people home you visited and you bell the rang the people will come oh madam what are you doing are you alone <laughs> she will pad this he will give you don't ask where is your where is your husband <laughs> don't ask in this question she will misunderstand you she will kick you <laughs> or what your husband is doing what your um, <laughs> if they are very close then you can ask the question and <laughs> you are connect activity based and you ask and she will beat you <laughs> then everything will collapse okay ah activity based students are learning ah in this way you can collect the data all the all the students they will come sir we collected this data and show this then the teacher will make one project work the teacher will make one summary the teacher will make one paragraph by collecting all the data he will write one article once again i tell you that 
what is activity students are sorry students are learning the subject by doing the activity students are learning the subject by participating in the activity this method is known as play away method this method was first time first time actually means uh, there is a i also confused by this one but anyhow simply i am telling play away method play away method play away method was first time introduced by this man who henry cladwell cook please remember his name henry cladwell cook he is from england british this person has written one book the play away method play away play away play away book in 1919 this book sub title is an essay in educational method an essay in educational method in this book british writer is telling about abl method activity based method what is activity based see students are completely active all children are completely active they are they are not passive listener they are not a passive listener they are not passive listener they are awakening they are students are completely active students are completely energetic students are completely enthusiastic students are dancing students are enjoying students are shouting students are talking students are doing activities students are learning students are doing they are not passive no passive only active active students are here now in this book henry cladwell cook is telling about abl method in the book please remember the name of this book this question was asked in the net exam who introduced activity based method who introduced the play away method who introduced hands on experience method this man henry cladwell cook okay now in this method henry cladwell is telling that henry henry cladwell cook is is using this is writing about this method in this book and he followed the theory of he followed cladwell cook or activity based method is followed the theory of john lock theory john lock's tabula rasa tabula rasa tabula means not a tabla there is a <clears throat> instru musical instrument tabla tak 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 tai that is not a tabla here is another first time i understood what is tabla means i am saying that tang tang tak 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 tang tang tak tak tai tang 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 tus that is not the tabla this tabla is different it was a question asked in the net exam i know i know again this question was asked in assam set exam tabula ras john lock john lock's theory john lock has written one book one book the book an essay concerning human understanding 1689 in this book john lock is saying that he used one one term tabula rasa tabula rasa tabula rasa means clean slate clean slate means blank slate slate you know slate means what i can say my chinu slate uh, first standard book students are writing on the slate 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 i know that you know the slate i will bring here is one slate this is slate this is this is slate this is slate slate if it is completely clean then it is called clean slate clean slate means tabula rasa clean slate human mind is clean slate actually this term it was a question asked in the exam what is the meaning of clean what is the meaning of tabula rasa tabula rasa meaning is clean slate clean completely it is clean what we call in marathi or in kannada kes khali haale khali je khali khali mhanje kahi naslele kahi naslele party party apan ko party pension khali aslele party clean slate no information is written on the slate tabula ras is means clean slate 
प्लीज रिमेम्बर दिस टर्म वॉज यूज बाय जॉन लॉक जॉन लॉक एंड एक्टिविटी बेस्ड मेथड इज बेस्ड ऑन टबुलरस देन एक्टिविटी बेस्ड मीन्स मीन्स व्हाट इंडिविजुअल्स मीन्स इंडिविजुअल मीन्स स्टूडेंट्स आर बॉर्न विदाउट नॉलेज स्टूडेंट्स एंड ऑल नॉलेज कम्स फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड जॉन लॉक इज टेलिंग दैट ऑल द पीपल ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑल स्टूडेंट्स दे आर कंप्लीटली ब्लैंक वेन दे गेट द बर्थ आफ्टर बर्थ वेन दे स्टार्ट ग्रोविंग वेन दे स्टार्ट ग्रोविंग एट द टाइम दे आर गेटिंग एक्सपीरियंस दे आर गेटिंग द एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम द होम दे आर गेटिंग द एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड दे आर गेटिंग द एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम द गली दे आर गेटिंग द एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम द स्कूल दे आर गेटिंग द एक्सपीरियंस फ्रॉम द फ्रेंड सर्कल they are getting the experience from the outer world then they are understanding they are getting the knowledge knowledge is coming after the birth once again i am telling child get birth okay after birth the the child starts growing at the time the the child is getting the knowledge from the outside बच्चे का जन्म जब होगा जब जन्म होने के बाद बच्चे परिसर से ज्ञान खींचता है ज्ञान द चाइल्ड इज लर्निंग द नॉलेज चाइल्ड इज गेटिंग एक्सपीरियंस चाइल्ड इज नोइंग द नॉलेज चाइल्ड इज गेटिंग द परसेप्शन फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड ड्यूरिंग आफ्टर बर्थ बिफोर द बर्थ और वेन वेन द चाइल्ड गेट बर्थ एट द टाइम देर इज नो माइंड देर इज नो नॉलेज इन इज माइंड नो नॉलेज the complete mind is blank no knowledge nothing nothing zero slowly the boy is getting the knowledge so, gradually the boy is getting the knowledge this method or this theory telling it is known as tabula rasa theory when no you when this question was asked in the first time I, <laughs> tabula means i am understanding that this is the jacky hussein's tabula but that is not correct tabula means clean slate blank slate students will get the knowledge after the birth after the birth and while growing at the time students are learning this means whatever the activity students are doing whatever the activity students are doing after participating participating in the activity students are learning see in in this in this he the boy is doing this activity then only boy is learning this theory is telling but 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 this theory this theory and please remember this book also okay how people are getting the knowledge but tabularas tabularas this theory this term this meaning even a question was asked now what is the meaning of tabularas clean slate tabularas this term this meaning is completely opposite different from in natism please remember in natism in natism the doctrine of in natism what is in natism the doctrine or the term in natism this term was used by vivekanand sir swami vivekanand please remember what swami vivekanand is telling he is completely opposing to john lock you john lock stop your mind what you are telling students are not learning in the school students are not learning in the home students are not learning in the society already student have the knowledge in their mind we the teacher should bring that knowledge outside from his mouth outside from his mind man is born with the knowledge man is born with the knowledge he is known as in natism please remember this theory name in natism means man born with knowledge by birth student is getting the knowledge by birth student have the knowledge by birth the boy is a doctor by birth the boy is is officer by birth the boy is teacher by birth the boy is police officer by birth the boy is professor by birth the boy is farmer by birth by the boy is saint by birth the boy is hotel manager by birth the boy is husband by birth only he is getting the knowledge he know 
we the teacher should identify the strength of the student then we should bring the knowledge inner mind of the student i am very lucky friends when i wrote the set exam in jammu uh, west bengal at the time i visited swami vivekananda's samadhi there is a belur math wonderful place swami uh, paramahaus paramahaus his guru swami vivekananda's guru's paramahaus swami vivekananda's that place i saw i am very fortunate even i took the darshan of swami vivekananda's that place belur math if you are lucky you also go and visit that place and get blessing i'm very i'm very happy because i wandered the entire nation nimit only the net set exam the reason was net set exam i wandered everywhere <laughs> sir who is correct john lock is correct or swami vivekananda is correct john lock is telling that students are learning students are getting knowledge after birth after knowing the subject after doing the activity students are learning and swami vivekananda sir is saying already student is knowledgeable already student have the knowledge in his mind who is correct sir who is correct <laughs> i am proud indian <laughs> swami vivekananda is correct <laughs> no question is asking who is correct who is wrong don't say <laughs> he is correct or he is correct but he is our indian sir brilliant man swami vivek great person namaskar sir <laughs> okay then huh. then who popularized this term huh? actually this man he is senior than this man who is gladwell cook he is a senior he is a small he is big means he is senior and he is junior but here the question was asked who introduced the abl method activity based method or playway method this man the father of playway method is henry gladwell cook playway but this man actually this man the german philosopher german educationist friedrich frobel friedrich frobel 1782 to 1852 he popularized this term earlier already he he because actually he used the term kindergarten kinder kindergarten kindergarten this is a german term german word the german word is translated into english children garden we say that our small child is going to kindergarten sir kindergarten but the meaning of this german word is children garden children garden this term was used by this man friedrich probel again it was a question asked in uttarakhand set exam and he popularized the kindergarten in this in this subject in this kindergarten method playway method is already used playway method play and learn and actually this method is used in lower classes so thank you so much for listening my words please systematically listen make the notes in yourself better late never better late than never better late than never start your study now begin your study now thank you so much namaskar